More Than Words, a radio play by Katie M. Dean. Episode 3. Lucas? Are you awake? Yes, I'm awake. I couldn't sleep after our last conversation. I know, Joey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of that. And you're right. I don't know what I'm talking about. But what I do know is that you're the only person who makes me feel like myself. And I can't lose that. I can't lose you. I don't want to lose you either. And I didn't tell anyone about you because they don't know about me. What do you mean they don't know about you? I haven't told them. Why? Because I can't. That's not an answer. Because they'll totally freak out. You don't know that? Yes, I do. Well, what about your sister? Sophie? What about her? From what you've told me, she seems pretty understanding. She wouldn't understand this. She's married with a baby. Well, you're gonna have to tell someone eventually. It'll be worse if they find out by themselves, believe me. But it's not something I can just casually walk up to someone and say. It is if it's someone who loves you. It's not that simple. It is that simple. No, it's not. It's not easy, and it's not simple. And it's not something that suddenly clicks and makes your life better and easier. It makes your life more complicated. But it doesn't have to. But people look at you as though you're not quite human. People pity you. I could lose my job. I could never get a job again. Look at the big picture. Oh, okay. Like the places I wouldn't be able to live, or, or how about the doctors who wouldn't see me? The big picture is that everything becomes more difficult and everything changes. But you can't keep living a lie. You can't keep pretending to be someone you're not. You have to trust that your family loves you and that this won't change anything. It's easy for you to say. You told your parents when you were young. And you think that was easy? It was terrifying. I was going through puberty, which was already a terrifying time, and I was standing in front of my parents, shaking, hoping that they wouldn't kick me out of the house. At least you have a place to live. I had nowhere to go. I didn't know what I was going to do if it went wrong. But I did it anyways, because I couldn't live a lie. I couldn't keep pretending. I just don't think I'm strong enough if it does go wrong. Come visit me. What? I think you should come visit me. Tell your family and then come visit me. That way, if it does go wrong, you won't be alone. But we barely know each other. So what? We'll get to know each other in person. Lucas, what are you doing? Um, w working. It's the middle of the night. Come back to bed. In a minute, Amanda. I don't know, Joey. Well, if you meet me and hate me, you can always leave. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I'll come visit you. And tell your family. And tell my family. God, I hate the spring. You never know when it's going to rain. You've said. Only because it's true. Is that another thing for work? Um, probably. I can check it. Wait! It's fine. We work together. Your work is my work. Who's Joey? Uh, he's uh, a co-worker. A co-worker? That I don't work with? Yes. You're visiting him in Boston? Does he work in Boston? Yes. What haven't you told your family? Lucas, what is he talking about? Lucas. Uh, Amanda. Uh... Lucas, what's going on? You, you wouldn't understand. What wouldn't I understand? That you're keeping secrets from me? That's not it. Well, that's what it feels like. Oh my god, make it stop!
Lucas, it's me. You can tell me anything. I know. Then why aren't you? I can't. Can't what? I can't lose you. Okay, now you're scaring me. Oh, you weren't supposed to find out this way. Find out what? Amanda. Find out what? Amanda, I love you. I love you too. Please, just let me get this out. I love you, but I love you in my own way. What do you mean? Oh, well, we we want different things. I thought we wanted the same things. We do, uh, did, but... Uh, what? We, we, we do want the same things. But you just said we wanted different things. Uh, I, I know. What I meant was that... You're not making any sense. Uh, okay, remember, remember our first date? And I was really nervous? Yeah. Well, it wasn't that I had it. It wasn't that I had never done it before. It's just, it's just I had never done it with. Lucas, stop being delicate and spit it out. I had never done it with a woman before. What? I had never done it. I with... heard you the first time. Amanda. Amanda, please say something. I wanted to tell you. I, I, I did, but... But what? Uh, but I... But you thought you'd have a little fun first? Is that it? That's not it. That's... Not what, Lucas? I wasn't just... Man enough? No. No, you weren't man enough? I just thought... You thought you would ride me a couple blocks before you moved on to the next girl? No, of course not. Did you actually think your little plan was going to work? That I wouldn't find out? That we would live happily ever after? I, I didn't say... That's right. You didn't say anything. You just expected me to go along with it. You probably would have married me just to make your perfect parents happy. Uh, of course not. And then I would have been stuck. Stuck to you. While you went gallivanting off it with Joey in Boston. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Then what? I want it to be normal. And you think this is normal? Normal people tell people things. This isn't something I could just throw into casual conversation. Oh, hi, how are you? How was your day? By the way, I'm gay! Oh my god! Amanda, I, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it, Lucas. What you did to me, I loved you. I wanted a future with you. Six months wasted. You know, I should have known. All of the guys at the office always flirted with me, asked me to dinner, drinks, but not you. You kept to yourself. You were always professional. I thought you were just shy. I thought it was cute, but now I know. You only fucked men. You won't tell anyone, will you? Oh my god. Amanda. You're unbelievable. Your only concern that I not tell anybody your dirty little secret, not that you used me? I said I was sorry. How many more times do you want me to say it? Until you actually start to believe it. Amanda. You shouldn't have said yes. What? You shouldn't have said yes. I know. You should have made up some excuse. I know. Like, I'm really sorry, Amanda, but I'm not interested. Or, I'm really sorry, Amanda, but I'm already in a relationship with a dude online. Actually, we didn't start talking until after... Ugh! <laughs> I said yes to you because my mom wouldn't stop bugging me about getting a girlfriend. You were always nice to me at work, so I thought, why not? Why not? And my parents were so happy when they met you. But I wasn't. That's nice. When I started talking to Joey, it was the first time in my life that I actually felt like myself. So why didn't you just end it then and there? Why did you continue to lead me on? What was I supposed to say? That I'm talking to someone online? Someone I really like? And not just someone, a, a guy? I couldn't do that. I couldn't risk losing my family, losing my friends, losing you. And you thought this was the better alternative? Uh, this was easy. What? W with you, it, it was easy. It was normal. People congratulated us. People accepted us. People will never accept me. My family will never accept me. They'll look at me like you're looking at me right now. Lucas. You know what? I am sorry. I'm sorry I said yes. I'm sorry that I used you. I'm sorry that you'll get to live a normal life, a full life, after this. I'm sorry that your life is easy. I'm sorry that you have a family who accepts you. 
I'm sorry you don't have to hide from your friends. I'm sorry you'll eventually meet someone who truly loves you, who wants to marry you, who'll have children with you and grow old with you. I'm sorry that you'll eventually be in a long-lasting relationship and I will be alone. And people will want me to be alone because I'm broken, defective, because God made a mistake when he made me. So yeah, I'm sorry. You know what? You deserve to be alone. And I'm not sorry.